Hello everybody, PJ here for Intense Computing, and today we are going to be going over Autodesk Inventor 2010. Um, today is going to be the basics, uh, and how to make a basic pencil holder. However, um, there are going to be several parts to this video collection, uh, and stay tuned for more videos. So, let's go ahead and dive in by go and clicking New. Then you're going to click on standard.ipt. Click OK. OK. Now, once you click uh, and select your standard.ipt, IPT, um, you have this whole menu bar up here. Uh, these are your basic shape tools, and basically you're going to make whatever object you're trying to make out of these tools. So let's go ahead and select the rectangle tool. Now, you might be thinking, well, how do I make it a perfect square? Well, all you have to do is just click anywhere. Get it something close to a square. It doesn't really matter, though. You can just click on dimension. And we're going to make it about 5 inches, this pencil holder. Uh, we'll make it about 4 inches wide, this pencil holder. And then go ahead and dimension the other side. And we'll make it also 4 inches. We'll zoom out by scrolling in is very opposite. So uh, now let's go ahead and click on finish sketch. Now we're going to get a new menu that's more kind of looks like a 3D menu. Uh, you have more 3D objects up here uh, and it's specifically made for uh, 3D um, sculpting. So we're going to go ahead and click on extrude. You're going to get very familiar with this tool because it is one of the uh, main tools that we do use. We're going to extrude it down um, about 6 inches or so. Uh, let's do 7. And then we'll look at it. This over here to the right, in the right hand corner, is your viewfinder. And you can simply just uh, either click and drag and move your object, or just click on a specific uh, side or corner or angle in order to get what you want to look at. Now we're going to look at it like that. I think that looks pretty good for a pencil holder. And then, uh, in order to put the hole in the center for the pencils to actually go in, what we're going to do is click up here where it says create a new sketch, not on the drop down, up here on this top button. Just click and then uh, come over here to the top of the box and you're going to click again. It's going to give you your grids back and then make your viewfinder on the top here. So mine happens to be on the front, yours might be a little bit different. And then we're, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, select the point tool and then find the center. Now you can find the center easily by just kind of going somewhere around the center and you'll find these little uh, green snap lines and once you have both up and down uh, horizontal and vertical just click and you know that's the center point now click on the circuit circle tool excuse me and highlight over the point and your dot will turn green click and then drag out doesn't matter how far but then we're gonna go ahead and click on dimension click on the circle and then we're going to dimension the circle to about uh, 2.5 inches. Um, let's make it a little bit wider to 2.75. That that looks about good. Uh, no, I, I still can't decide on that. Let's do 3. There we go. Okay. And then we can uh, confirm that it is uh, the correct... Um, that it is centered by just clicking on the point, click on clicking on this line over here, and you get two inches, uh, which is correct because the whole box was four inches. So we can go ahead and click finish sketch now, and we can then click extrude. And then you're going to click on the inside circle, not on the outside, but on the inside. And here, normally you would click join. Um, in order to extrude it up like it shows. 
Let me get a, get a good angle on this real quick. Instead of extruding it up, we're going to go ahead and click on cut, which is going to cut it down into the actual uh, pencil holder. Now we're not going to make it 7 inches because we don't want it to go all the way through, but we're going to make it about 6.5 because we do want it to be deep enough. Uh, now if we look down there, it looks deep enough for us. Uh, and that is almost complete. So now the last step is going to be making this, making the edges a little bit more round because nobody really wants to have a sharp pencil holder like that and it's not really appealing to the eye. So we're going to go ahead and click on this fillet tool. Uh, once you click on it, this little pop up uh, pops up and we're going to click on this inside brim here where the cutout for the pencils are. Just click on that. Uh, we're going to round it about uh, 0.1 uh, of radius and then just click enter and then apply. Now that rounds off. Uh, we don't want to round that too much because uh, the pencils will fall and it'll be a mess. So you want to keep that kind of constrained. Now we're going to round these guys. Uh, just You can select several at a time if you prefer to do that which I do, I think it's a little bit faster. Um, we should be able to do all of these. Sometimes you can't. You see that when, when uh, you have an object, sometimes you can click through the object. Uh, a red line will pop up and you'll be able to see through the object. And now we have all the corners and I think we're going to stick to 1.25 and then press enter and apply. I think that looks pretty good to me. We can close out of that window and there's your finished pencil holder. <clears throat> you can uh, you can color your object pretty easily by going up to uh, actually we, we, we'll cover that in the next video. Um, but for now, that is your pencil holder. Let's just go over what you learned again. You learned extrude, fillet, create a new sketch, and also the rectangle and circle tool. Uh, and of course over here to your right, the viewfinder. Well, that's it for part one, guys. I uh, hope you enjoy your uh, first model, and uh, stay tuned for part two.